Hello everyone, welcome to Pande Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share uh, one very important interview question uh, which is shared by my student who attend uh, recently on TCS and very interesting question they asked in front of means real time question. Uh, they provided a laptop and uh, some database access and they provided some type of the real time database as well and they put it the question the let me uh, discuss the question first what exactly uh, question is, is there so if you also have some type of this type of the question uh, you can put the question uh, in the video comment box i will take it so the question is the uh, i have a the scenario is the i have a table in production uh, which has duplicate data means there is a table uh, which is already created in the production and some uh, duplicate data is already there uh, means there is, in the table there is no uh, primary key no uh, any foreign key not any uh, key was applied and uh, the data was inserted as a duplicate and uh, client is saying that uh, we cannot delete the data okay we cannot delete the existing data because of the business rule and the requirement okay but uh, some, uh, somehow in the going future okay they want to prevent not insert the duplicate data okay not and i have to prevent any further duplication of data in the table how to achieve it how you can achieve it because you know if the table is already have the duplicate of the data and uh, if you want to uh, if you want to create the primary key in, in the existing table they will not allow you because if you have the already duplicacy of the data so you cannot prevent to uh, create the primary key so we can achieve it so how you can achieve this type of the question how you can achieve this type of the requirement and this is the very interesting question uh, this this is the little bit uh, advanced question so i will discuss you detail so if you also face this type of the question uh, you can able to answer and trust me if you able to answer this type of the question uh, definitely there's more 30 to 40 percent chances that will be you got selected it okay uh, so try to solve this type of the question so uh, before starting uh, if you not subscribe my video please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like the video and if you want to learn the complete sequel you can uh, download the training material and you can also take one to one training uh, with me uh, so you can go pandeguruji.graphy.com and you can see all the training available here so uh, let's start with this video okay so let's start with this video and uh, how we can solve this type of the question okay so to solve this type of the question uh, you need to be first validate the data that uh, data is already available or, or not so i don't have this type of the scenario so let me create one dummy table so whenever you doing the practice you can also create some type of the uh, dummy table okay so i'm creating one table that is the employee detail table is there so if the table is already exist uh, i'm creating it and i'm uh, creating and i'm inserting some of the data so let me create some type of the tab, uh, data okay so this table i created now you can see data is created and this table we have the uh, data is available and so put, let me put select star from table name okay so uh, you will get how, how my data we available so now you can see uh, we have total around 10 record in the table and uh, uh, let me uh, create some type of the uh, duplicacy of the data again in this table so as per the requirement the scenario will be created so let me create uh, some type of the data here okay so uh, you can see i created some type of the duplicates of du duplicate of the data so for better we can just you can put the order by uh, one so all the duplicate data will be come together so now you can see one ram this all we have the duplicates of the data uh, this sohan we have the duplicate of the data so while inserting the data uh, i'm just going to achieve by using the uh, creating the store procedure okay so through the store procedure if i insert the data 
so before inserting because you know the in the real time uh, when the data is got inserted all the data is inserted to the application and application have the integrated with the store procedure so try to achieve by this requirement by using the store procedure so i am creating the store procedure here and that is the procedure name is handle uh, duplicate and the parameter you need to be pass whatever the we have the table name so let me uh, let me uh, put this select statement in different window so it is very easy for us okay so now you can see we have the employee ID, employee name and department ID so we need to be check all this duplicacy so that is the reason I created this store procedure with the input parameter is the employee ID, employee name and department ID in the integer data type this is the where care data type and this is also the integer data type okay so I am just building here the logic so if exist so if the data is exist select null from dim employee table where employee ID is equal to at the rate employee ID employee name is equal to at the rate employee name and department ID is equal to department ID if any of the data which is passed by the parameter is already available we need to be print the data is already exist and it duplicate value and you need to put the return here so return keyword is basically used to uh, return from the store procedure out from the out from the uh, store procedure that is the reason we put the return keyword keyword here if there is no duplicacy of the data then we need to be insert the record here okay in the employee detail table that is the whatever parameter is the pass and you need to be uh, end with the store procedure so let me create the store procedure here uh, so now this procedure is got created and uh, now suppose if you trying to insert some of the duplicate value uh, which is for example we have the 10 rather 7 okay so 10 rather 7 so if you run this part of the code uh, you will you can see uh, you will you getting error message that data is already exist and duplicate value but if you pass this some unique value like for example uh, I am passing 11 uh, Rakhi and 8 if value is not available then you can see data got inserted now you can see at the end of this table you can see the data got inserted okay so any of the duplicate value is already available like for example if you uh, 6 and the rockets and the null okay or the you can take any example 5 mukesh 6 so if any of the value will be there they are already in the table so and the data is already there it not allowed to insert you so to achieve this type of the question uh, you need to be put some type of the extra mind here okay how you can handle this type of the situation but if you if you have the, uh, the concept of the store procedure the concept of the if ex, uh, exist so uh, you can see i use the each if exist so you can use the select null you can use the select one select star but for the performance tuning point of view uh, or don't use the star you can always use the null here okay so i hope you uh, got the understanding how we can achieve this type of the question okay if you have still confusion if you have any doubt and if you have uh, if you are going to attend any interview and not able to solve the question uh, just you can put the question on the uh, comment box okay so thank you so much for watching this video i will meet again in next one thank you